Hi, Lori Flasco here. I'm the founder of The Kindness Advantage and have the privilege of speaking to leaders around the world around kindness and how to make a difference. And I have a special treat today. Uh, joining me is Maria Odumodu. And um, Maria, gosh, uh, Going back a couple episodes, you might remember speaking with uh, Rosita when I was speaking with Rosita and she told me, Laura, you have to meet Maria because she is one, she's a friend and one of the kindest women that she knows. So let me just tell you a little bit about her very long resume, but she has a PhD in public policy and administration. She put her entrepreneurial cap on and now she has multi um, pharmacies, which all you can, Maria, you can certainly tell us a little bit more about that. And she operates all of them. And, you know, as I, I continue to go through here, she talks about the importance of giving back, and she is a huge advocate of volunteering. And the last sentence in her resume, as she wrote to me, she says, my goal for social change is to leave a peaceful, better world for the next generation. Welcome, Thank Maria. Thank you. I'm so it, glad it, that it's you're... Wonderful. Yeah, it's wonderful to see you. <laughs> Thank you. We, Maria and I have been going back and forth on the phone, so it is nice to meet in person which, you know, is such a good um, lead into what we're talking about because um, today there's a lot going on in our world and we're going to kind of get into that. But I want to know, Maria, how does kindness impact our world today? Well, kindness, the word kindness to me can be interpreted in so many ways, you know. Uh, but for me, it involves um, things like patience and joy because it's called the fruit one of the fruits of the holy spirit and for me the core of my life my belief is based on spirituality so that makes it easy for me to be kind because we've been told love your neighbors what good is it only to love those who love you so try and love those even who do not love you that is the Christian thing to do. Mm -hmm. And something else that I like to just share is that the golden rule in my family was very important. It always says, do to others as you want done to you. Mm -hmm. Which means if you had a chore to do, do your chore. Don't, don't run away from it, hoping that somebody else will do it. You know, so you do your, your chore if you have to do it. So always be nice, always be kind. Um, to other people. For me, kindness is one of those things that is action-based. It's no good saying kindness. You have to actually do it. Yeah. There's so much going on in our world right now with tensions, with, you know, fighting and some real ugliness, whether it's, and we hear a lot about it on social media, on the news, um, where we are here. Um, how do we how do we be kind when sometimes we're, we're living in an unkind world? Well, this is where I bring in the word of collaboration, that we are in this together. We breathe the same air, we drink the same water. Okay, some people might drink from the bottle others from the tap, but we share the same air. We share the same environment. And some of the issues facing us today, cannot be solved by one person. It requires joint action. And as, as soon as we realize that we all need to work together to solve the problems, you know, they can be solved. Every decade, every century has had its own problems. All they have done is to find a way to solve it. Mm -hmm. to solve it. If I may just use an example, I know when I was doing my master's and you had the events in South Africa and it seemed at that time that there would never be a solution. But eventually the solution was found. Mandela came out of prison 
and became the leader. And one can say is the kindness of people who went on protests to solve it. Do you know what I mean? So we can have peaceful protests. In terms of, shall I say, our neighbors to the south, we need leadership. The role of leadership is very, very, very crucial in bringing the tensions down. If we can listen to each other, we might sometimes find out that we share something else in common. Everybody wants to live a peaceful life. How do we get there? Okay. Mm -hmm. If I may continue, mm -hmm. um, we talk about equality before the law, right? But not everybody is equal before the law because the application is very different. I mean, the pandemic, the COVID has given all of us a chance to be at home and watch TV and see how Mr. Floyd was. His life, I have to say, snuffed off. Okay? So having seen that in action, people have realized that, gee, there was something wrong going on. That perhaps they can find a solution. Human rights to the Black Lives Matter. I may not speak their language, but I know that it's important. If you can contrast between what happened to George Floyd, what was he alleged to have done, given a $20 counterfeit? And then you think of Dylan Roof, going to the Monday Manway Church and shooting people and alive. Each one of them should be given a chance to appear before the justice and answer. Mm -hmm for what they've done. Mm -hmm. And that's how the tension would be brought. If everybody sees that, okay, if I am wrong, then I can go before the justice of the peace or the court or whatever, and have my case heard. Then the tension would be down. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. going to be one law for everybody. The rich might still be able to have better lawyers, but at least the application of it mm -hmm. would appear to be fair. Mm -hmm. That's what people ask for. Mm -hmm. And the COVID is a pandemic that nobody planned for, but we can deal with that mm -hmm. if we listen to the MDs. You know, and, and you know, I, you and I were talking even about that pandemic, pandemic mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just, you know, how, so there's so much going on, you're right, on television, on mm -hmm. social media and, and then we're in our homes where there's fear, there's so much fear around mm -hmm. and, and, and loneliness and what that does to people. What, what do you tell, what are some strategies? What are some things that you can tell us to do at that point? Since the, the, the pandemic, I have taken to exercising, meditating and trying to eat right read books. I'm not a great cook. I wish I could, you know, because maybe the kneading of the flour takes away some of the tension. Mm. And it's time for us to really sit down and reevaluate things. What is important and what is not. Mm. It's mm -hmm. maybe it's time to look at your mate or your partner or your husband and try to see the beauty, the kindness, rather than what he didn't do or what he has done wrong. And it's I, a lesson, yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that because, you know, it, it, it's making it intentional again to, to focus on the positives, focus on what's good. That I love looking at your mate, you know, and, and looking for, for the good and the beauty, because sometimes it can be hard. Well, even looking at, at each one of us, it can be yeah. hard, right? So I, I love that intentionality part yeah. of it, yeah. along with the other good things that you were saying, right? Yeah. The, yeah. the meditating, the, the praying, the health, the Oh my gosh. The exercising. That is good. <laughs> That's good. And 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 Maria, I love what you said about the kneading of the dough. Why yes. is that so important? What 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 takes off the tension as you need the dough? 
take some of the, and the creativity that comes with it. Look yeah. at the finished product at the end. I like to sew. Maybe for me, that is sewing or looking at buttons. Mm -hmm. What can I do with buttons? Mm -hmm. What can I draw? What can I do? Mm -hmm. what, I, what is being said in the books? Mind you, I do watch my sh share of uh, political activities all over the world, you know. But I, after a while, I take a break because it gets to you. Really? So you, you actually take a break when things I are do. going, you do. Oh, yes, I take a break. Yeah. I turn the TV off. Yeah. I read books. I say a prayer. Mm. And joy comes from, despite my mom dying, before I was two, I mean, I was told everything. Do you know what I mean? It's not as if I know, but I know that we had a happy family. Mm. Because my dad was educated, he made things easier. All of us. It was because you're a girl doesn't mean you don't you don't have to go to school. You were not exempted from it. You went to school, you can be and you can do. See the distinction? Mm -hmm. You can be and you can do. Mm -hmm. so my dad always said, you have to work at it. Nobody will give it to you, but God will always help you in your struggle. Tell us about your, your business and, uh, and what you do and the role of kindness in it. Okay, for my business, I need to give um, credit to my husband. He's a pharmacist. I am not, but I am the other. Half. You are you are the, the other half person. I, I'm the other half. He's a pharmacist. <laughs> so when I I call myself the corporate citizen, so I do the volunteering. So does he? But I do more mm -hmm. because that's how you give back. Mm -hmm. And I can truly say that living in the little town, as I do, we've met some wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our business has grown past where we live to other cities. And um, I have to say thank you to our partners and our staff. Tell me, Maria, the, one of the, the, a kind story that you have. Tell me something that you, you saw and you learned from. We were expecting our second, and we were moving into our home July, I think July 2nd or something. And this second one was being born July 15th. All right? So one of the girls I used to work with my husband at Towers Pharmacy then, came to the house, took our son, the first one, to her house for the whole day. And then in the evening, after our work, she brought him back and brought some food for us. Mm. I hope I don't cry. Mm. But that was most, most kind. I didn't expect it, you know, but she came. We knew the family. We used to go to their house on, after mass on Sundays. We'll take the donuts and they provide the coffee. <laughs> you know? So it was wonderful that we got to know them. So for that move, I don't know how we would have gone. Yeah. Or for the start family. Yeah. They were, they were wonderful. So, it feels. Mm -hmm. so that was good. Another story that I like to share to do with one of our staff members. This yeah. was last week. I got an email saying that this pharmacist was fantastic. Somebody had just been diagnosed with cancer and they went in and she said the lady, the pharmacist listened to her and she felt really wonderful. And okay, she didn't cure it, but at least she listened. Mm -hmm. She listened and made her feel wonderful. And I said, thank you. So it was it was a kindness of the kind for them doing our work in a professional way. You know, it, it full circle to where you started out, where we started out talking about listening. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's amazing how just that's that's sometimes all we need um, yes. in whatever we're going through for somebody mm -hmm. to be there to listen and really listen and, and care about that other person. And, and you're right, that, that pharmacist didn't change the diagnosis, no. but we uh, human, just deep down, we need to feel like we're cared for, that we're, um, that we're important. So you do something, but it's not to be shouted from the rooftop. Say, look at me, I'm doing this, and I'm good, and I, no, I think you do it because it needs to be done. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be kind to other people. Mm -hmm. What did St. Fra Francis of Assisi say? It's in giving that we receive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in giving others that we receive. And Mother Therese, do little things, kind things. It's how we do it. You don't, it doesn't have to be a big. Don't just do little things. Mm -hmm. The little blessings that we receive. Maria, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I really appreciate it. And you've shared so much with us. Um, I wish you a kind day and uh, all the best to you and your family. Thank you. May I wish you the same. May God bless you as you journey through the day and all the days of your life. Mm. I will take that. Thank you, Maria. God bless. God bless you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.